all of you hope you guys are great and welcome back once again so here i have my recent project where you can connect your metamask wallet from your front end and the technology we have used for building this application is react or nextjs so what you can do as you can see this is how the interface is going to look 100 percent responsive for all the devices so the moment you will visit this application this is how the interface would be so the moment you will click on this connect wallet here you can see our metamask will get open and from here you can easily able to log into your metamask account and this website will be con connected with your application so as you can see we're getting this nice fox which tracking the entire mouse over okay so if i'm just get into my metamask account for example let me type my password and if i click on unlock just wait and here is this boom here you can see that i'm logged into my application here you can able to find the verify batch that i'm a verified user of this account my account details and the ether i have in my account obviously it's a fake ether okay and if i come here into my metamask let's call let's let's open this one and here i have 1.1 ether it's obviously a fake ether because i'm connecting with a kova test network and from here you can easily able to switch from your account so as you can see the moment i will switch i will have a the this account will get changed so if i click on this account number third you can see it's get updated in real time because of the use state we have used okay if i change the account would be changed so everything is 100 percent functional let me tell you about the responsiveness so this is how it's going to look on a mobile device and if i come here and if i open my metamask and if i log it out here because currently metamask currently there is no option which you can use it to log out from your front end if you want to disconnect your metamask and log into application log out from your application you can do it from here so if i come here and if i click on this log out as you can see i'm also will get log out from this application okay so to use this application i have to log in into my metamask then i can able to use this application so again if i tap my password and if i click on unlock you can see i'm logged into my application once again i can is able to find the account details ether and you can pick all the details you can able to see all the transaction history and you can display here so currently i'm working on that project very soon i will make a complete video on that where you can easily able to find every single things so it's 100 percent responsive now let's come back to the back end so for building this application i have used nextjs and because of next just provide a lot of things there is no complication of routing okay that's why i've used it's a single page application so you don't need to worry about it so here i have written all the functionality which allow us to connect from metamask so i have used etherjs web3 models for having a connections so here you can see all the function all the state variables i'm also converting uploading the data from my ips servers which i'm going to do that so it's a simple project where you can connect your meta boss metamask wallet from your front end application to a back end so that's all the source code you can easily able to find and don't need to worry about it this video i made for a overview to let you guys know that i'm going to make a complete tutorial on this a video will come soon where i'm going to explain every single component we have used every single stake we have used for building this project as you can see all the data is getting changed dynamically so here we have used the users use state effect for monitoring the user data whether they are logged into an application or not so that's all we happening on real time so that's all functionality we have created and the best part of this that i have tried to divide this entire website into a small component so there is a one component which only handing the buttons so that's all you can able to find so currently it's not here but i will let you know how you can do that um, and i'm really excited for making a tutorial on this so let me show you once again that when you log out from this application this is how it's going to look nice interface nice a lot of things you can do when a user can log in you can display all the transaction history from the block end that how many times they have done the transaction in ethereum blockchain and that's all the details you can display all the block details you can do the transaction the, that whom he transfer the money that's all you can able to mine and display from here and we're going to do that from here so we're going to ether so i hope you guys have already known to this website ether scan so we're going to use the ether scan api to pull out all the details so right now you can see we are on ether scans and here are all the details about the current 
ethereum mining okay so if as you can see this is the block details so if i click on this block here you can able to find all the transactions which is happening inside this block so here is the timestamp that when this block was created here you can able to find the transaction that how many transaction is happening this block is created very recently that's why there is no transaction in that mine who mined that transaction who mined this in, in this block so you can easily able to find the address of the miner that and how many reward he got when he mined this block so he got two ether that's a lot of money the the unclear reward there's no difficulty total size gas fees limited and that tons of information you can get and we're going to fetch all this data all this data we're going to display in our application that's all you can do here and what i'm talking about let's come here let's go to the previous block let's go to the previous block and let me show you because there is this one is really very new it's happened only nine seconds ago so that's why there is no transaction in this so here you can see that it has 196 transactions so if if i open this so let's open this block and inside the blocks we have these two transactions one transaction is happening on the contract label where the users are buying and doing stuff like that and the second transaction is happening on the base of the transferring money so if i click here here you can able to find all the transaction which happen inside the block this this 005 block contain all these transactions all these transactions so we're going to fetch this transaction details as well into our applications so it's going to be a complete project of uh, ether.js web3 model you will learn that how to run all those command to fetch the data and connect your front-end application with the blockchain blockchains to pull out the data so very soon i'm going to make a tutorial on this that how you can build this simple templates and i'm currently working on that applications where i'm going to use the api of ether scans to build that build a actually build a clone of this okay so we're going to build a clone of this entire applications okay we're not going to create this the user logging functionality if we create that video will get long and we, i don't want to extend the backend part i want to just extend that how you can work with Web3.js, Web3 models to fetch the data from blockchain, blockchain and display on your front-end applications. So that's what we're going to do. But maybe within a two days, you will get a complete tutorial on this application that how you can connect your MetaMask wallet with your front-end applications. And then we'll have that entire functionality. So I hope you have found this video valuable. If you have any questions, any doubt, leave that in the comment section. I would love to help you in that. And for the time being, bye-bye. And I have a good baby here right behind me. He wanted to know that what I'm doing. So that's why he's continually sitting on the tape bench and watching me the entire time. So you want to say something to them? Why? You have to tell them something. Always smile, okay? So hope you have found this valuable. If you have any question, hit that like and subscribe button. That will motivate me to make video like this. And very soon, I'm going to make this complete tutorial, okay? So see you next time. Have a great day.